A northern Kent County couple has been in jail for more than a year, charged with murder and the dehydration death of their 10-month-old daughter. And it will be months yet before this case goes to trial. But tonight, we are learning more about the defenses these parents will be using. News 8's Martin Dieters brings us the update. Sue, the parents both in their late 20s have been behind bars months longer than their daughter was alive. Mary Welch lived to be 10 months old before she was discovered in her crib in her home northwest of Cedar Springs on August 2nd, 2018. It would be ruled that she died of dehydration weighing 8 pounds, about what a newborn should weigh, as she lied on a filthy mattress covered with mold and a home filled with garbage and flies, according to investigators. The baby's father, Seth Welch, allegedly waited 90 minutes after his wife discovered the deceased child to call 911, telling a dispatcher that the child was, quote, dead as a doornail. Welch and the baby's mother, Tatiana Fusari, are charged with felony murder and child abuse, facing mandatory life in prison if convicted. Here's what Seth Welch had to say in an interview with News 8 days after he was arrested. I believe I'm being unfairly charged and uh, being made an example of for my uh, very strong faith and the trying times that are ahead. Both of the defendants have undergone psychiatric exams and have been found competent to stand trial. Nevertheless, Welch's attorney notified the court he intends to pursue an insanity defense. However, Welch recently replaced his former attorney, Leslie Cranenberg, with another defense attorney, Charles Clapp. The mother is seeking an independent review of her medical records to determine if she was suffering from a parvovirus, which can cause dehydration, and whether that disease was passed on to the infant. The mother is expected to go on trial February 3rd. The father will be tried January 21st. Fusari will be in court on Friday where she could be offered a plea agreement. The couple's other two children, now ages 5 and 3, are in foster care as the state seeks to terminate parental rights. Back to you.